name is Nitya Venkatraman. I'm a coach, facilitator, and a program architect in the leadership development space. I'm also a co-faculty in the program Leaping into Leadership Mindfully at ISB. Now, if you're watching this video, it means that learning is of some significance to you, which is why you're even evaluating the course in the first place. And why not? I would say in the last 10 years, Executive education has assumed a great deal of importance because it positively affects the growth and development opportunities that a leader has. The more he or she invests in learning, the greater the opportunities that he or she has access to. Understandable. However, the kind of learning that is available for leaders today falls largely in the domain of functional learning technical learning or managerial learning. Because a fundamental belief is if I as a leader know what has to be done and how do I go about doing it, then I'll be able to do it. It's as simple as that. I would say this is necessary for sure, but it is insufficient. And why do I say that? Because the person who actually assumes the role of a leader is forgotten in all of this. Now we'll have to understand something and be clear about it, which is what one makes of learning is completely up to the person. So therefore the person has to be readied or prepared to receive the knowledge and then integrate it in a way that is both relevant and compelling. And because this is so dependent on the individual, I would say it's critical to work on the individual first before we go on to uh, offer knowledge or of offer any sort of guidelines on how to do something to the leader who's the individual in this place. So I would say leadership learning falls in three different domains. The first is the work on the being, which is who the person is. And how does the person show up in the world? What is the kind of impact that they have in the world? What is it that they inspire in the others? So on and so forth. And then you have uh, learning in the domain of knowledge or knowing and learning in the domain of doing. So this integrated learning in the domains of being, knowing and doing is required to make a leader effective. And I would recommend that somebody actually invests a lot of time in getting to know himself and herself, who one is being in a situation, before they go on to acquire any sort of knowledge or engage in any sort of doing to be able to get practical experience. Now, what do I mean by this? In today's world, a leader's ability to be authentic, real, genuine, empathetic, sensitive, have the ability to enroll people, be inspiring, be collaborative, operate in the interest of the collective. Now, all of these have assumed a lot of importance for the leader today. And these are not shifts or transformations or changes that can happen by knowing how to do it. It is something that comes from within. It is a certain quality that comes from within. And for a lot of leaders these days, some of these qualities uh, may be dimmed because of a certain set of interferences that they work with. Now, these interferences could be in the form of external interferences, and these are uh, interferences over which we have really no control. But there are also a lot of internal interferences, which is doubts, fears, insecurities, judgments which do not serve, I would say I call them limiting mindsets, which get in the way of a leader to demonstrate some of these qualities. And I would also say get in, gets in the way of playing from their full potential. Now, when we work on the being, what we do is we take a holistic view of our life. We get on to the balcony of our lives to examine what has our life been until now? What have been some of my key shaping experiences? What are some of the narratives I work with? What are the mindsets I carry? What is the body set I operate from? What is the impact this 
mindset and body set have on me and the world around me right we also do a deep dive into emotions what is my emotional reality how do i deal with emotions and do i use them intelligently to be able to connect to the others and um, bring about greater connection in the larger fold we also examine the body as a domain of transformation what is the way in which my body is wired and what is the impact it has on me and the world around me right so the work on the being involves a combination of uh, work on body emotions language and context in our program leaping into leadership we will examine all of these dimensions very closely so that you are equipped to operate from a space of acute self awareness and what does this do it helps you operate from a space of choice there is not a default wiring that will run you anymore since you're aware since you will become aware of your patterns uh, of your narratives of your ability to deal with emotions and of the context that you hold in your life you will catch yourself at a time when in, when any of your default patterns are not serving you and you'll be able to make the shift quickly to a space of authenticity and freedom so over 4 days through very experiential exercises discussions um and other simulations you will develop a very deep understanding of yourself and you'll be able to work on your being in a way that is powerful and compelling when you walk out of the program after 4 days we guarantee you that you will have access to a context that you can work from that will only enhance your leadership ability and effectiveness and it will make you um hugely effective across a wide range of situations so you will not be restricted any more to a certain set of situations meaning i am effective only in a crisis situation or only in an operational situation or only in a strategic situation because the reality of leaders today is that they have to deal with all sorts of situations and all sorts of challenges so therefore your ability or your repertoire to be uh, effective across a much wider range of situations is going just going to go up manifold and you will also have a very strong development plan that will help you integrate some of the capacities that you think are necessary for you to be an effective leader now we have run this program several times over the last couple of years and i'm yet to meet someone who has not been touched by the program it is in the very nature of the program uh, to be touching to move and to inspire people into being their best and offering their best to this world it is also about inspiring them to create very compelling contributions and this does not come from a space of forcing but it comes from a space of true inspiration and that is you you are the biggest source of your inspiration and you will discover that the only ask we have of you is that you come into the program with an open mind there is a lot of unlearning you may have to do to welcome newer and more compelling ideas into your life there's a lot of authenticity that you may need to have so that you can deal uh, with your own limitations i would say in a way that is courageous openness courage and maturity is what we ask of you to make the most of this program the program has its pre work it has its readings its reflection and a set of discussions that you may need to have before you come into the into the program and i would recommend that you do this because it is in this very reading and reflection and the conversations that you'll have that you will begin to develop deeper insights about yourself the biggest problem today is we don't a lot time for self reflection we don't a lot time to look at ourselves and to examine ourselves be an observer of ourselves so that we can learn from our successes and also learn from some of the failures that we have our reflection if it happens at all is often quick treat this time the pre work and the program as a time that is exclusively for yourself 
for your own care, for your own nurturing, so that you can emerge to be a stronger leader, one who has high self-awareness and who has worked on his or her being. So any knowledge that you will gain after that or any project that you will take up after that will actually land and contribute to you because the person who is receiving all of this has actually been worked on um, to make the most of the other opportunities that come his or her way. So I hope to see you soon at the program. Thank you.